Hello, thank you for joining me here today at creativeresults.net, the site dedicated for the reinvention of ourselves, our business life, and our personal. Enjoy the video, and I hope you're able to use some of the content and apply it to your life. Hey everyone, uh, welcome to another Ride to Work with Fred, except uh, today we're not going to ride to work with Fred, we're already at work. Uh, I did want to pass just a couple little things uh, uh, along uh, to you today so that you could have some food for thought. Sorry it's been a little bit of a delay since the last uh, video, but I've been doing a lot of restructuring with my uh, studio and with the videos and so forth, so I uh, look, uh, look forward to some neat stuff coming right around the corner so uh, get excited about that with me. Uh, I heard a radio uh, program the other day and I think it was on uh, WBT. Anyway, the guy was talking about the aspen tree uh, and, and, and it really intrigued me when he started talking about the aspen tree and, and what I was involved in it because you know one of the things that I try to promote with everybody is to stand alone you know, be a standout with uh, whatever you're trying to do. Be an individual. Be strong. Uh, don't, you know, don't be uh, associated with negative people and negative things. I still believe that and it should be. Now, when you do associate, this doesn't mean that you need to separate yourself from everybody. Uh, it means you're going to have to have friends, of course, but the aspen tree is kind of some unusual characteristics about that. It never grows alone. It always grows with uh, um, a male, female, uh, all sorts of other friends. All the trees kind of grow together. They have the same root structure, and the roots go very, very deep. If you want to look this up and kind of, you know, do some research on it, it's kind of interesting. Uh, the tree itself it requires a lot of water. It requires a lot of deep water. But I thought the interesting part of it is that they must be the same kind of tree. They all grow in kind of thickets. Okay? Now it's very, very critical that we should be a lot like that aspen tree. We should all have the same kind of thoughts, etc. So, in other words, a real positive person, they're not going to hang around with dream stealers or negative people, are they? If, if you do, you're not going to survive. This is the reason for the success of the aspen tree. They hang around with their own, their own kind. Good positive trees. Trees that share the same uh, thought patterns, the same beliefs. Isn't that a great thing? They require full sun. You know what that means? To us as individuals, requires an enlightening. The facts. Looking at just the facts to make things happen. So, uh, you know, they, they're, like I said, they're growing in thickets and they're very easily duplicated. Uh, they, they, deep water, deep thought, uh, deep processes, uh, positive thinking, positive reinforcement. If your friends are not reinforcing you today and encouraging you on your dreams, they're not an aspen tree. They're not in your group. They're not in your thicket. They're not doing the things that you need to continue your growth. Thanks for riding to work with uh, Fred and uh, not riding to work, but we're here and our thought for today is hunt your aspen trees, okay? Try to get those trees that are associated with you. Deep roots, deep watering, sharing the belief. Thank you. See you on the next venture. Hey, thanks so much for joining me on this video today. I hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you've maybe picked up something that you can use, uh, whether it be humor or education or whatever, just thought for both of you. Join me on YouTube uh, and also Facebook, Fred Hopkins on Facebook.